All right, I want to make something clear. When I say I'm staying dangerous, what I mean is, like I said before, is I can take, you know, I have my disabilities and stuff, but I can take care of myself in the sense of if somebody wants to have a problem with me, I can defend myself, you know? Just because I'm weak don't mean I'm weak, you know? You know, there's all those stories, like, I mean, not to be wicked saying this, but, you know, there's moms that pick up cars and stuff to save their children and stuff. There's been people who, like, you would never think would whoop some, you know, some dude who's trained in, like, combat shit, like, MMA fighters and stuff. People like me going up to them and whooping their ass. Like, this stuff really happens. Not saying that I would win a fight in that sense, but I'm saying that I know how to defend myself if I have to. Staying dangerous in, in the aspect of, yeah, I know people in militias and stuff. Like, if, if people are really... You know, if if a war were to really blow up in this country, I would have a group of people to go to. I was misunderstood from the get-go. You know, I went, like I said, I went out to Vegas. Those cops showed up and stuff, and I typed white, and people took it as I was cripping or something. No, like I said, I was talking about a gospel passage. I was talking, most of the stuff I was typing was about the Bible. It had nothing to do with anything outside of the Bible. But people see things and they overthink. You know, it's like when, you know, I'm watching this at an Alex Jones show a few years ago, or more than a few years ago, but it was about, you know, words in the war in Syria. And they made it sound like it was going to really blow up into something big, right? Like, bigger than what it is. And then, later I went on Facebook, and I was friends with Joe Biggs, who was on the show at the time. And they were talking about sports and blah, 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 and I just made a... You know, I made a comment, like, why are you guys worried about sports when all this stuff is happening, you know? And, you know, Joe Biggs says... Don't take Alex Jones so seriously. So that's when I really started to dig into Alex Jones. And, you know, Roger Stone drops the documentary about how he basically was one of the main people who screwed over America during Reagan's term or whatever. I mean... <laughs> The fact that that guy made a movie about that and thought that he, I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, I, like I said, man, I am slow in some things. Like, when it comes to, like, tests and stuff, I suck at that. I fail. But, like, when it comes to work and stuff and learning stuff like that, I can do that. 
but there's just some things I'm slow at, you know? But, man, some people, what are you doing, man? What You are, like, not to be disrespectful to slow people. Like, you know, I used to work on as, a, as an ombudsman. Like I said, I used to have to go into homes and stuff and, like, you know, there's homes with special people in it. They are so much smarter than that guy, in my opinion. Like, I don't even think that they would go on, they would make a video about that. You know, I, I, I don't know. You know, I made some pretty dumb videos too, but at the same time... It was really to prove a point. But see, people don't like to see this point. They just like to say, oh man, this person's crazy. Because that's the easiest push off. That's the easiest excuse to... The shit that you get yourselves in and then you, you point at me and say that I'm in the shit. No, man. It's you that are in the shit. You just be happy that it's me. You know, people saying, get out of your feelings and all this stuff. Dude, I've been out of my feelings for two and a half, for two fucking years. I've asked over fucking 50 people to help me find Liz. I get ignored. You know, and then people are like, and then I'll make a video later about this, right? Where I'll say, hey, where's Liz on a video? And people push through their messages like, hey, man, why didn't you tell me at this place, this place, this place? Dude, I've asked family members. I've asked friends. Everybody has said fucking no to me. And then they say, hey, we're going to tough love you and blah, blah, blah. You've been trying to kill a handicapped man with a learning disability for two years. I haven't died yet. Am I in the best spot right now? No, I'm living in my fucking grandma's house, dude. You think I'm proud of that? No, I'm not. But at the same time, I'd rather be here than sleeping out in the fucking snow right now. Which it could very well happen, you know? This summer I could end up homeless again. And the fact that people are watching, whether it's on fucking camera, or like, you're hacking me, or whatever, you know, I've told people before that, you know, these rappers that are listening and watching, I say, you know what, I'm, I'm fucking sick of the hip-hop industry at this point, because they see this shit happening, and they do nothing, they do fucking nothing, they make songs about how they're, you know, they don't want their people to die, but blah, 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 they'll leave them out there to fucking die, I mean, put your fucking microphone down and go fucking help someone, dude. I don't give a fuck about your music. I'm going to listen to it on YouTube for free. I'll listen to it in that degree. I don't care to go purchase and shit. Sorry, I don't. Not when I can get it for free. That's why when I make music, when I rap and stuff and I make music, I give it for free. Because you know what? It's a, it's a fucking hobby, man. Quit ripping people off. You want the truth? Get a fucking job and rap on the side. Go help a homeless man. Rap on the side. Do something, man. Do something, please. That's it.